In this video, we'll talk about how to add a background image to an element, and then some of the various options. I'm not going to go into all of the options that you can use with background images, but a few of them. I'm going to talk about how to adjust the tile, the stretch, and the scroll properties of a background image. To add a background image to an HTML element, you need to add the style background-image. You then need to, after the colon, to say URL, and in parentheses, put the URL to the file name of the background image you want to use. It can be a local or a remote um, image, but if your URL contains uh, curly braces, round parentheses, colons, or semicolons, you really need to put it in uh, uh, quotation marks inside the parentheses. But if you don't, you don't, if, if it doesn't have those, you can just put the file name. If you're using a local image, just put the local image name in there. Remember that uh, on some web servers, the names are case sensitive, so be sure that your name is exactly the same as it is on your hard drive. And by default, when you add a background image, it's automatically tiled. And if there's a space around the edge that a full image doesn't fill, it'll put a partial image and chop off the chop off the images. So it'll it'll tile and chop off around the edges to make things fit by default. As I said, it's defaulted by tiled, but we can say background dash repeat and uh, change the option. So if we say background repeat, repeat X, it will uh, repeat across the page, but not down. If we say repeat Y, it'll repeat down and not across. If we say repeat, it'll repeat in both directions, but clip on the edge. If we say no repeat, it will only put it there once in the top of the element. Um, the next two are kind of, uh, kind of uh, well, you just gotta, gotta think about it. One is called space. And what space does is it tiles the image over the entire surface of the element, but it doesn't clip at the edge. At the edge, it, it puts whole elements and puts a space between the whole elements so that um, it kind of spaces them out. We'll put a pixel or two between each element, however much it needs to, to add space between the elements. And then there's round where it figures out how many will fit, and then it stretches them to fill up that gap around the edge. So it actually scales and stretches the image, um, the, the background image, so that it fills an exact number around uh, without adding a space between them. So repeat X, repeat Y, repeat space round, and no repeat are the options on how you can change the tiling. You can also change the initial position of your of your background image. For instance, if you have a background image you would like to have centered, you would say repeat uh, none. You would you would tell it not to repeat it, and then you would give it background dash position and give it the two locations of of where you want it on the element. The uh, over and down the X and Y values. You can also set the background attachment. Um, the attachment you can either set to scroll, which adds the image or uh, connects the image to the border of the element. And if the border scrolls, the image will scroll. You can say that it's a fixed element, a fixed background, so that if the element scrolls, the background doesn't scroll, it stays fixed on the window, it's attached to the view. And then there's one called, an option called local, where the content is actually added to the content and will scroll if the content scrolls. So you can adjust the attachment point of your background images to scroll fixed or local, and it will change subtly what happens to the image when you scroll the page. There's so one other option I'd like to cover about background images, and that's the resize option. So you can say background size and give it a height and it will automatically scale the, the image to, to keep the aspect ratio. You can give it a height and width and it will adjust the image to exactly that size. You can say background cover 
which will cover the entire element, it will stretch the background image or shrink the background image to exactly cover. Now that's going to mess up your aspect ratios of your, of your shape. Or you can say contain, which makes it as big or as, just makes it so that it will fit uh, maintaining the aspect ratio, one stretch to fit. So you can see here I've got a CSS page, and above me there's a little itty bitty um, 6 by 6 tile, there's a 12 by 12 yellow triangular tile, and then there's the alien smiley face 100 by 100 tile. And you can see that on the header div I've added the 6 by 6 tile, on the header nav, I've added the 12 by 12 tile with a space so that it's going to put a space between them and it won't chop them off around the edge. And then I put the smiley face on the main, um, but I told it to repeat X, so it's just going to repeat across the top and not fill the rest. Let's look at the HTML and let's see what that looks like. And you can see the HTML, and there you can see the background. Um, you can see the background images of the uh, little 6x6 six six tile, the 6x12 six tile, and the 100x100 100 100 tile. Notice that the uh, CSS had a background color on the main, and that background color is transparent through the background image because this background image was a PNG file with a transparency. So this was a transparent PNG. Um, be sure that if you want your background colors to show through, your images have been created as either a GIF file or a PNG file with a transparency. This concludes the video on background images. This presentation is copyright 2020 by James Imreno, PhD. All rights are reserved. This work is licensed under a Creative Commons non-attribution Creative Commons Attribution, non-commercial share alike, 4.0, international license. You can contact me at gem at renejm.com. If you have any questions or concerns or errors or anything else, um, and I'd like to say thank you for watching. This video is entitled Background Images and is a companion piece to Chapter 8 of the book, so you want to learn to use HTML and CSS by James Imrino, Ph.D. I'll be taking you through this presentation into how to use style to put background images on your HTML pages and elements.